given his lackluster performance at the London Diamond League. Can Hansa Parchment turn it around before World Championships 2023 in Budapest? And rest in peace, King. Also, Jamaica scores Quinella at NACAC. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. Sound ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, unfortunately, we have to start with uh, a very um, sad uh, on, a, on a very sad note, uh, Jamaica has lost another remarkable young athlete. We are sad to share the passing of young Nathan Reed. Nathan Reed, a Jamaican athlete and a University of Wyoming student, died in a car crash on a United States highway in Wyoming on Monday morning, according to reports. Reed's vehicle was traveling westbound on the U.S. Highway 1820, about five miles east of 125 near Orion, Jun Orion, Jun Orion Junction and south of Douglas, Wyoming. The exact time of the accident has not yet been determined. Road construction workers discovered Reed at the crash site early Monday morning. Our condolences to this young man, his friends, family, and our hearts go out to the athletic community of Jamaica. It's really, really hard to um, do these bits in the videos, people. Hard. Young, young, young man. Jamaica scored a huge quinella in the finals of the under-23 men's 100 meters when Adrian Kerr and Travis Williams of Jamaica took gold and silver in that final event. Adrian Kerr of Jamaica won the event in 10.08, a new personal best with a plus 1.7 win behind him. Travis Williams of Jamaica came second in 10.12 with Diego Andre Gonzalez Salgado of Puerto Rico coming third in 10.22 seconds. People, you know, we're always very excited when Jamaica scores a huge quinella. So Adrian Kerr and Travis Williams score gives Jamaica a one-two punch win in the Naked Men's Under 23 100 meter final. Good look, people. Very, very good look. We also have to say congratulations to Gariel White, the 400 meter hurdler, uh, who reps out of LSU. She was also at the NACAC Under 18 Under 23 Athletic Championships. Um, 2023 and of course held the Jamaican flag high and did extremely well for herself. We're huge fans of her here at Peter Lloyd World so we just wanted to say congratulations. At the end of her NACA campaign, 8 under 18 under 23 championships 2023 campaign, Gariel White of Jamaica walked away with a 400 meter hurdles bronze medal with a season's best in the process she also won a silver medal in the four by 400 uh mixed relays as well as a silver medal in the four by 400 meter flat so congratulations to gariel uh white really really good look it's obvious that she had a really really great time uh over there at naka medals look good um and you know what as always jamaica rep and looked really good in terms of how we repped there so kudos and congratulations to this youngster now the 110 meter hurdles olympic gold medalist from the tokyo 2020 olympics which took place in 2020 um again appeared at the in the diamond leagues this time at the london diamond league and just didn't sparkly didn't do as well as one would have hoped was the American Grant Holloway who walked away with the win with 13.01 ahead of Sonsuk Izumiya of Japan who came second in 13.06 with Jamal Britt of the United States coming third in 13.25 and Jamaica's Hansa Parchment fourth in 
13.26 seconds. Holloway is good start good from, from Parchman, but Holloway's got the jump on him at the moment, going really well as Zuzumiya in the, in the blue. Parchman's got a lot of ground to make up. He's got this one, one Grant Holloway, if he can hold on to this one, and he's quick off the off the. Ref Now the truth is uh Hansel just has not been having the best season so far for the 2023 season we're not sure it could be injury we're not sure what's going on with him um of course this is him running at the national championships taking second behind Rashid Broadbill and of course second is a great run he had a solid time but the question we want to ask is do you think he'll be able to turn it around in the remaining three weeks to be able to hit that medal podium now this of course is my two cents hansel parchment is an incredible talent but we know that last year at the at the fight in the final race in the finals of the men's 110 meter hurdles uh he was warming up and right before the actual race he was injured and i still believe that he would have walked away with the win we can't say this is only speculation at this point in time but i have no idea but i also have to concede that we have a plethora of great talents obviously tyler mason is rolling back into form rashid Broadbelt is the fastest in the world as we speak and he has thrashed grant holloway at least two times so far this year and looks i think going in as one of the two favorites to win that gold medal at world championships should he remain injury free uh, uh um, ronald levy is nowhere near his best still recovering and there are other other athletes like uh orlando bennett there are other athletes so the question is can he actually turn it around really in the next three weeks and i really am not sure i, I am not a negativist in any way so i'd always like to believe that it's possible but this close and the way at which he is running so to speak it seems unlikely that Hans apartment will be able to turn it around now it's not impossible he's a great talent like i said but something is amiss and that happens sometimes athletes don't have the best season there is always the 2024 20, olympic games which i think you know he'll be on fire for i just think at this point in time with the likes of uh uh, uh um you know tyler mason bennett um, and others of course obviously Rashid Broadbell I would like to say he's going to turn it around but I'm just really not sure I really want to hear your thoughts do you think that Hans Apartment could possibly turn it around in the time left before World Championships in Budapest 2023 that's about three weeks people now this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit notification bell hit the like but remember your royals kings and queens bless up